Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Before the video starts, don't forget to check out the giveaway down in the description below. There will be a video that you can check out and see how to enter the giveaway. Uh, it's free, you won't lose anything, so it's worth a shot. Anyways, this video is going to be about some cool different texts you can do. I did this before, but there's some new ways I know how to make it look better. So let's give it a shot. Alright, so let's start by getting some text on our canvas. So on the left side, go to the text tool. Go ahead and left click on that and then left click somewhere on your canvas. I'm just going to type in Canvas, And then I'm going to highlight the text and go up to this little box up here and change it to white. And then don't forget to hit that check mark. And there you go. We got our white text. So now let's get on to the fun stuff. So let's go over to the layer that says Canvas which is your text layer, double click on it and a menu should pop up with all the settings you can choose. So for this first one, we're going to go down to gradient overlay. Let's go ahead and check that box to enable it. And then you can click on the box. So now you have all these settings. Let's click on the gradient color right here. And you can see there's two colors. This is basically what we're seeing. We're seeing the black down here and the white up here. So. You can choose the colors manually. So we could do, do like a dark red. And we'll click the other box and fade it to like a brighter red. I'm just trying to match the background. So hit OK. And you can see the text is really bland. So let's go ahead and hit OK right here and change the text to a different font. I'm going to use the font called Lemon Milk. I don't have it. I'm going to load it real quick. I'll be right back. Turns out I don't have it anymore. So screw that. I'm just going to find a different font. Um, let's choose one that I don't know. One that fits. I don't know if I have any of my old fonts. I don't. I don't know why they're not here. Pretty messed up actually. But yeah, can't find any right now. So that's unfortunate for me. We're going to go with this one. That's actually not a bad one. Bangers. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by clicking the little drop down arrow using the little scroller. Boom. Look at that. That's pretty sick. Dude, it's actually really nice. Works really well with the background as well. So let's add some more stuff to it. So let's double click on it again. We can add a little drop shadow. And you could turn the opacity down a little bit, so it's just, you barely see it. And the angle is basically which way the shadow is. So we're just going to set that on 90 because I can even, okay, 89 works. And the distance is how far the shadow is. So we're going to turn that up a lot. You can barely notice it. You could still see a little outline. It's a really nice touch, actually. Um, One thing I don't really mess with is satin, but... One thing with satin is you can make it look pretty clean if you do it right. Like, look at, that's pretty nice. Um, it kind of gives it like a 3D effect. Um, but, I mean, hey, that's not bad. So we're going to go with that. Uh, we can add a stroke. Change the color of the stroke. You know, stroke is good in some situations, but most is not. And right here is one of those situations that it works really well. I didn't realize it would be, but it is. So, you know, let's call it, let's call it here for this one. So basically that's that one done. It looks really nice actually. So let's make a new text so we can click the text again, left click on here. Type something else or you can type the same thing. So we'll do Canva again. It's white back to default. Double click on that the layer again. And this time go back to gradient, but we're going to change it up a little bit. Actually, we'll leave the colors. But this time we're going to go to inner glow, check that box. And you can also click on the box to go to the settings. So now we're in the settings. Make sure to change the blend mode to normal. That's what I always do. Then you want to turn the opacity up to 100. 
and click that little color box and we can change the color. So I'm going to choose a red just to match what we have going on already. So I want to fill in down here. So I'm going to turn the spread up and the size up. I'm going to turn the spread up to about nine and the size up to about 17. So that's pretty nice. We can also add an outer glow. So check that box, change the color, whatever you want. I'll do, I could do red, I might screw it up, whatever. Blend mode, change that to normal. Opacity 100. See, that's hideous. That's just very destructive to the eyes. So we're gonna change the blend mode to uh, overlay right here. Bad idea. Scratch that outer glow out of here. I'm gonna go up to stroke. But this time I'm gonna change the stroke blend mode to overlay. So now you move it. It has a cool effect when it's on a background. It kind of shows through what's on the background. So if you have it like right here, it looks pretty nice. It's kind of like a mirror a glass. Um it's something. I don't even know how to explain it. But I think that's good on that one. Maybe we could add, yeah, okay, that's good. So there's that one. Now, let's add, add another one. Type in Cambit. I'm gonna highlight this and click warp up here. Now this is when stuff gets crazy. So. We're gonna to click that style box right here. Choose arc. Now you can see your text is curving. I made a tutorial and you can check it out in the description. I do a tutorial just like this, but I'm not going to go in depth on this one of how to do this. So you can check that out if you want. It's up to you. So we're going to make the blend about, or the bend, sorry, uh, to about 17% and hit OK. So now it has some cool bend to it, which is a really nice touch as well. So if you, I mean, look at that. That's pretty clean. So. But we can add some stuff to this. So let's double click it again. Now, what can we do? Let me think. Now let's, let's do pattern. If you click pattern, you can see here. Little pattern right here. Go ahead and left click on that. And you can see there's other, there's some weird patterns that you can add to your text. Not a fan of most of them. But... In Photoshop, you can make your own. I'm not sure about in this one, but you can go with this one. You can turn the scale up to make the um, pattern show like bigger, which is what I'm doing currently. So I can do it. Let's try. I'm gonna do an inner glow. I'm not gonna do inner glow. Inner glow fails me 90% of the time. So there's that. Something to look out for. We can do a drop shadow and let's change the blend mode to normal. So make sure you have your drop shadow, check that box, click it, change the blend mode to normal and the opacity up to 100. Now we're going to turn the spread up to 100 and the size, it's up to you. But, oh, what the hell? Okay. Turn that down a little bit. So it has like a thick look to it, which is really nice. You always want thick. So you could change it to whatever color you want. With the pattern, it looks bad. So I'm going to add a stroke. And you can see, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that pattern. Screw the pattern. We're going to change it to, what are we going to change? Gradient overlay. That works. Now let's change the drop shadow to the red up here. Kind of like a darker red yeah look at that that's clean can't deny that oh, i totally forgot it's look at that guys you gotta use these you gotta use them eventually they're nice um we could change the stroke to just normal give it that white look it's up to you whatever you guys want to do go ahead and do it i'm just showing you how to do it so here's what we got so far Personally, I like these better than the other tutorial. They look a lot nicer. I can't even remember what else I did. I did some pretty lame ones. They got a lot of views, but 
they, they weren't that good. I didn't really know these things. So we're gonna do it one more time. See what we can we can come up with. I'm gonna double click on this layer again. And this time, let's try. What are we gonna try? If only this is live, I could just ask you guys. Okay. Drop shadow with just the color. Looks pretty cool. What does it look like if I do let's show you something cool. So go ahead and do gradient. Click the box. Let's change it to black and white like it was originally. So left is black. The right is white. And then go to inner glow. Change it to white. See, now this is when outer glow is actually nice and not a nuisance. You can turn up the size and spread a little bit. So I'm going to turn up that much now I can add a stroke I'm gonna change it to black and I guess I could add a, the drop shadow turn that to black too and we could do uh yeah let's do that and then we can turn the you want to turn the distance now let's leave it about the same size Shrink it a little bit and then we can add another drop shadow. So click this little plus sign right here to add another drop shadow. But this time we're going to change it, the opacity. We're going to turn that down about 15. Turn distance up a little bit and turn the size up. I'll turn the opacity up a little more. About 40. And we can add some outer glow. I mean, it's probably not going to look good as you guys have seen. Yeah, it looks terrible. Oh, well, there you go. So those are some really cool techniques. I don't know if you guys want to do them or not. If not, it's cool. Good stuff to know. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Check out the giveaway. Chance to win some designs that you can use for your YouTube channel. One in a kind. One of a kind. Yeah, I cannot talk tonight. I need to go to sleep. It is 1 a.m. So I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching and uh, peace out.